this is junk mail. I have a son. He's 10 years old. And sometimes when I'm talking to him about different things, I'm not sure if he's catching it. So I'll tell him, yo, get a pen and paper. You know, if you ever, any of you guys that might instruct children or train children in math, you know, they'll be doing a problem. If, if we can't do it in our head, it's like, let's get a pen and paper. So I would tell him to get a pen and paper in the last couple of times. He's been grabbing like junk mail. Like I got this stack of stuff down in the basement. And he'll bring one of these these up and write the info on the back. And uh, I'm gonna start compiling these things. Uh, I think that it's really important to chronicle valuable thoughts. And that's kind of something that I think I need to build my brand around. I'm not trying to create a character. I'm trying to reveal my character, right? Reveal the, the mindset behind the labor that created the fruits that I and my family enjoy. And I don't mean just my blood when I say that. So I'm going to share some notes that I would share with my blood, some lessons to my son that I have him walk around the house. And I told him, you know what? We're going to keep doing this. Like at first I was like, why you keep grabbing the mail for this instead of a notepad and a and a pen or pencil, but um, God's plan, welcome to junk mail. So I've been getting asked quite consistently to take my child to the gym. He's like, take me to the gym with you, which is a great sign, right? Any son should want to do what their father's doing. And to some degree, you would want to set that kind of example. So I'll tell him I'm going to the gym, or if not lately, even if I didn't plan on going to the gym, he's been coming to me like, can we go to the gym? So I asked him, if I put two 30 pound plates on a 135 pound bar, how much is that? In his head, he goes, mm, that's 135 plus 60. I'm like, okay, add it up. He had trouble doing it, right? And he grabbed this piece of, I told him, go get a pen and paper. He starts doing the math on here. And uh, I'm not gonna show you the results of this, but the strength on the math didn't match where I felt like he needed to be for me to take him to the gym. And that's what we're gonna do. Before we go in the gym and work on his body, it's important to me that I build, when I'm talking about my son, before I build a strong body, I wanna build a strong mind. And I think that's something that we should all do in our own lives, right? Take some time to really develop your mind, your strategy, your capacity to do something before you just aggressively uh, start taking action towards that thing. So yeah, that's junk mail. Something I think I'm gonna love about doing this content is we are all gonna collectively watch my child's handwriting get better and spelling get better. Just watch. When I first asked him, like, why are you bringing the mail? Then I realized, like, you know what? He does need to keep bringing that junk mail because we don't need to fill up a journal with <laughs> incorrect spelling. Like, we're getting better right now. These are lessons. So let's, let's put these lessons in the sand. And I guess now YouTube. So be the right you. All of us, when we're growing, we struggle with our nature right like we all genuinely know what's right but then we also have this nature that's drawn to what can be wrong if not done the right way right or it's just genuinely just outright wrong <laughs> as well but it's important for us to remind ourselves to be the right you if you're surrounded by people that mean to do right by you why do wrong to them you can get good at being right or you can get good at being wrong but either way your choices lead to consequences. And that consequence is your character, it's who you are. If you're somebody who does wrong to people who mean to do right by you, you'll only be surrounded by people who wanna do wrong to you. <laughs> and they'll probably be better at, at being wrong than you are if your intent is to be right. So if you wanna live a righteous life, you gotta remind yourself like, I need to do the right things, I need to be the right me in the different situations that life is gonna find me in. And if you do that, like, I think you'll like where you end up. The purpose of 
junk mail for me is to take the lessons that I speak to my children and chronicle them in a way that they don't get lost. Have you ever been talking to anybody and been like, what did I just say? Or what did that mean? Or they couldn't really recall it, right? And so it's like, you know what? Go go get something and write this down because <laughs> we're not gonna put this in one ear and out the other, right? We're gonna put this down on paper. And this lesson, do not watch greatness and not witness it, really came from me realizing that I've made a lot of sacrifices in my life. Uh, my family has went through the type of adversity I can't talk about, but my children, because they were the reason that we actually chose to persevere through those things and create the life that we have, they were insulated. Like they didn't watch the hard decisions and the difficulty that built the life of ease that they now experience, right? And so I remember hearing a quote that the worst thing you can be is the son of a rich man. And I didn't really get it. But now I'm truly understanding how if you're around greatness, but you don't really take time to witness it, right? Like understand what's really happening in front of you, witness the, the fullness of what created what's happening around you like think about lebron he built his brand, a brand around this if we watched his career but we didn't witness right the pressure that he was under the different teams that he was on the work that he put in the discipline that he created around his life in order to create the career and the legacy that he now stands on like we could have watched it but not witnessed it and that's what this is all about is when you're around greatness you've really got to allow it to impact you not like the goal shouldn't be to be an influencer the goal should be to live a life that is influential and it's only going to be influential to those people who really grasp what's going on so do not watch greatness and not witness it it's a part of what you're doing be a part of it as well